Hello, my name is Ross Rothero Borge and I'm Mix Audio for Zildjian at Vic Firth. Today we're going to have a look at some recordings I've done the live room of different mic techniques for overheads, different ways to capture cymbals, different ways to capture a picture of the drum kit. We're going to look at the advantages, the disadvantages, and then you can tell me which one you like best. Let's start with a spaced pair. Of all the techniques we look at today, you should notice that this sounds the widest. The microphones are physically further apart. This might sound a little bit unnatural, but both mics are directly over the cymbals, so it kind of reflects the cymbals in the best light. For someone who hasn't tried it before, mid-side can seem the most daunting of all the techniques we're looking at today, but I think it's really worth pursuing because it collapses into mono perfectly. And with many Bluetooth speakers and phone speakers still in mono, I think it could be great for someone who uploads to social media a lot. OLTF has the potential to sound the most natural of all the techniques we've looked at today. Imagine them spaced out and angled like a pair of ears over the top of a drum kit. It's a great middle ground between X, Y and a space pair. To me, the drums definitely sounded fattest using the Glyn Johns technique, but it doesn't reflect the cymbals as well. I don't think I'll ever be able to get over miking a cymbal from the side. It gives you this odd swooshing effect as the cymbal gets louder and quieter as it rocks back and forth. This might be a great option if you're tracking drums and cymbals separately and use it to track the drums. Although XY provides a stereo image, as the mics are very close together it's not very wide. This would be a great option if you're looking to leave space out wide in your mix for other instruments. I hope this has given you some food for thought for how to mic up your kit at home. Maybe you could try out some of these techniques on other things like acoustic guitars, Glyn John's aside. But until next time, thanks for watching.